assist in this national pro project that you have been recruited to serve in the southern sector of the country, namely Volta, Greater Accra, Western, Central, and Eastern regions. Strictly speaking, as commissioners for oaths, you are qualified to serve anywhere in the country. But for the special exercise that we are embarking on, mostly you're expected to serve in the southern sector. You are to note that under section 91 of the Oaths Act, NRCD 6, and regulation 56 of the Judicial Service Regulations, LI 319, you are to administer only lawful oaths and to take only lawful affirmations and affidavits. And remember that any oath, affirmation, or affidavit that is in violation of the Constitution of Ghana or any statute in force, such as the Statutory Declarations Act of 1971, the Oaths Act and the Citizenship Act, is unlawful. And when you, you are in violation and are found guilty, it's an offense punishable under the laws of Ghana. You cannot administer, you cannot take, you cannot conspire or condone in, or condone in any such unlawful oaths as affirmations or affidavits. As I'm sure was explained to you during your training, willfully certifying false statements or documents or intentionally deceiving, concealing or withholding any fact or document pertinent to the swearing in, to the swearing of an act is a misdemeanor punishable under section 191 of the Criminal Offenses Act. Thus, for example, you should not under any circumstances swear in anyone that you have not seen in person or whose claims you cannot verify. The Republic, in whose name you will be working, requires accurate and reliable information, and your task is to make sure that this exercise provides that. As Commissioners for Oaths, you will be overseeing the swearing of oaths and making of affirmations by persons who do not have the requisite documents to establish their citizenship status comprehensively in the ongoing national identification exercise. This means that the integrity of this sensitive national exercise now lies to a significant extent in your hands. It is most important that every commissioner for oath performs their duty with all due care, paying the greatest attention to the details and essence of the law that guide the assignment of a commissioner for oaths and that particularly guide this particular exercise. Be firm but fair, accommodating but faithful to the law and above all do not for a minute compromise your training and integrity by allowing any infractions on your part.